Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Central Connecticut State University 2022 Winter Commencement Exercises. My name is Dr. Scott Hazen, Director of Student Activities and Leadership Development. Our ceremony will begin in about five minutes with the procession of our students, faculty, and university leadership. Today's ceremony is a very special occasion for you and your graduate. During the program, each student will come forward and be greeted by the president and their respective dean. Every student's graduate's name will be announced. We ask that you please do not leave the seats to take photos. The university has engaged graduation images as the official photographer and will take photos of each graduate as they receive their diploma from the president and a second photo as they leave the stage. You will receive proofs of copies of these photos directly from the company. Immediately following the ceremony, reception will be held in Alumni Hall. Please join us for some refreshments. Finally, I would like to ask everyone to turn off their phones or silence them for the duration of the ceremony. Once again, welcome, and we'll begin shortly.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the graduates of the winter commencement at CCSU.
Good afternoon, and please be seated. I am Dr. Frederick Latour, Associate Professor and Assistant Chair of Mathematical Sciences and President of the Faculty Senate. President Toro, the degree candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies The Carol A. Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. The School of Business. And the School of Engineering, Science and Technology. along with their respective faculty, friends, families, and loved ones, have assembled. I declare these commencement exercises open. Thank you, Professor Latour. Welcome, everyone. I am proud and excited to be here. I hope you are too. To our honored guests, welcome. And to our faculty, staff, family, and friends, thank you for helping make this a very special celebration for our graduates. We now begin with the posting of the colors by members of the CCSU Police Honor Guard, followed by the national anthem performed by the CCSU's vocal quartet. Will everyone please rise?
please be seated. I am now pleased to call upon Dr. Kim Costellis, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, who is presiding over this ceremony. Dr. Costellis served as the Senior Officer for All Academic Affairs, Faculty and Academic Support Activities. Provost Costellis. Thank you, President Toro. I am very pleased to be here with all of you. For those of you who don't know, Central Connecticut State University is the first public institution of higher education in Connecticut. We are very proud of this fact. 173 years of history. Just think about all the graduates who have come before you. Today, we celebrate 350 graduate and undergraduate students who will receive their diplomas. 95% of today's graduating class are residents of Connecticut. This class also represents 18 states, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, and the countries of Albania, China, India, Jamaica, and Vietnam. We are also proud to point out that 49% of CCSU students are the first in their families to attend college. <laughs> On the stage behind me are members of the university's leadership team and several special guests. I'd like to introduce you to those who will not otherwise be named during the ceremony. We ask that you hold your applause till the end of the introductions. Going alphabetically, we begin with Lisa Butcher, Chief Budget and Compliance Officer. Sal Cinturino, Chief Operations Officer. Dr. George Claffey, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Kelly Bird Danso, Vice President for Student Affairs. Yvonne Kirby, Associate Vice President for Planning and Institutional Effectiveness. Dr. Beth Marenstein, Interim Associate Vice President for Community Engagement and Experiential Learning. Dr. Christina Robinson, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Anna Suski Lincheski, Chief Human Resource Officer. <laughs> Dr. Carmen Valoria, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Craig Wright, Vice President for Equity and Inclusion. And one of our special guests, Dr. Rai Katoria, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs for the Connecticut State Colleges and university system. Please give me, uh, please help me join in a round of applause. Central is part of the system, which includes three other universities, 12 community colleges, and Charter Oak State College. The Connecticut Board of Regents governs the system. Regent Richard Balducci, who is also a proud CCSU alumni, is here today to bring formal greetings on behalf of the board. Please help me welcome Regent Richard Balducci. Wow. What a way to start the holiday season. Diploma in one hand, Tuition ending checks in the other hand. How good is that? <laughs> Looks like Santa Claus arrived early to this group. My name is Richard Balducci. I'm a member of the Board of Regents, and on behalf of that entire board, I bring you their congratulations and greetings to the class of 2022. And to all the family and friends who helped support you get to this point in your career. The journey wasn't easy, 
It never is easy when you're struggling for something that's difficult, like a college education. And to all of you graduates, undergraduates, and uh, those of you receiving master's degrees, God bless you because it hasn't been easy, especially the last couple of years with the problems we've had with COVID, et cetera. I'd also like to say thank you, and I'm sure you will appreciate them too, to the faculty and staff you are fortunate enough to be here in support of you and help you get to the point in life where you are today. So I know your mission in the future may be different from one another, whether continuing in education or moving on to some other point in your career. But to you and on, be be to you and on behalf of the board, I congratulate you all, wish you a very healthy, supportive uh, year as you move forward, wherever it may be. God bless and thank you for having me. Thank you, Regent Balducci. We appreciate all that you do for our students and for your favorite university. <laughs> that same sentiment holds true for one of your former colleagues, Mr. Balducci, who is also here with us today, Dr. Mel W. Harris, a CCSU alumna, recently retired from the Board of Regents after an extraordinary lifetime focus on making a difference in the life of students pursuing a college education. Dr. Harris, will you please join the Provost and the Chair of the Board of Regents, Joan Ryan, as we prepare to award you this university's highest honor. Dr. Harris, your career as an impassionate educator and administrator is filled with remarkable achievements. From your earliest days in the Connecticut Department of Higher Education and tenure as president of Charter Oak State College to your interim appointment as president of this very university. The education and empowerment of women have been a driving vision in your life. To that end, you established the Women in Transition Initiative to assist mothers in earning college degrees through distant learning. That pioneering effort helped Charter Oak State College become a nationally recognized public online college. Through your decade-long tenure, serving on the Board of Regents, your acumen, and dedication have been the, health, the hallmarks of service. Through your roles as Vice Chair, Academic and Student Affairs Committee Chair, Executive Committee Member, and Chair and Member of various Presidential Search Committees. Under your stewardship, major academic initiatives were adopted, including a transfer and an articulation policy benefiting students with clear academic pathways, tuition savings, and faster degree completion. Always a champion of fairness and justice, yours was a leading voice for adopting consistent system-wide standards to maintain a safe, welcoming learning and working environment free from sexual misconduct. You have been a tireless advocate for meeting the diverse needs of all students, equipping them for the 21st century workforce, and assuring access accessible, affordable, equitable education opportunities. Therefore, in recognition of your significant professional accomplishments, your invaluable contributions to Connecticut higher education, and your passion for supporting equal access to higher education, Central Connecticut State University is privileged to present you with a degree of Doctor of Educational Leadership Honoris Causa. Regent Ryer, will you please confer the degree?
by virtue of the authority vested in me, the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education, concurring, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Educational Leadership, Honoris Causa, and invest you with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I hand to you the diploma and direct that you be vested with the hood appropriate to your degree. Congratulations, Dr. Harris. Do I have a degree? It's hard to speak after that. Thank you, President Toro. Thank you, Richard Balducci, member of the Board of Regents. Thank you, particularly, Joanne Ryan, who is now chair of the Board of Regents. And thank you, everyone that's on the stage, all the administrators at Central Connecticut State University and the faculty who's out there somewhere. I am so honored to receive this honorary doctorate today. It is also very, very humbling to hear those wonderful words and sort of a recap of my career and to hear them when I can hear them and it's not at my eulogy when I won't be able to listen to the words. I, as you heard, I received both my bachelor's and master's degree at this very institution. I sat in the same seats, maybe not the same location, but the same seats that you're sitting in now. And I even awarded degrees as interim president at CCSU. This has given me an opportunity to really reflect back on my life. And I know that education has opened doors for me. I have been very fortunate to have a very meaningful life. And what I would like to share with the graduates today are just a few things that I learned along the way and I hope you will remember. Number one, time goes by so quickly. My husband and I talk about this frequently today. So graduates, use every day wisely whether it's in relationships with family and friends, to make your community a better place for all, or to advance your degree, your careers. Use every day wisely. Number two, hard work really pays off. I know many millennials and ex, um, gener Generation Zs do not believe this, but it is true. Lead by example and follow through on your commitments. Number three, you do not get anywhere alone. I had a rewarding life because of the support of my husband, my children, my mentors, and my colleagues. Think of a ladder. We are lifted up by those on the rungs above us, and we have an obligation to do that for those behind us. Number four, your education has given you the tools to think critically. So use them. Do not believe everything you read and here. Be flexible. Do not jump to conclusions. Be open-minded. But, as a friend of my husband's family said, don't be so open-minded that your brains fall out. <laughs> Graduates, 
I hope you will remember at least one of those things. I know graduation day is not exactly the day to listen to speakers, but if you remember one thing, I think that will make me feel very, very rewarded. Good luck as you continue your life's journey, and may it be a very smooth voyage. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Harris, and for your continued leadership, mentorship, and support for higher education. While this is, it, it, while this is quite a memorable ceremony for our honorees and our graduates, you might not realize just how significant this day is for our faculty. As, de as dedicated educators, they have a vested personal interest in your academic and career success. At this time, I ask the faculty to rise to be recognized for their work on behalf of the students. Graduates and guests, please join me in giving our faculty a much deserved round of applause. Thank you. Please be seated. From the first day President Zumatoro arrived on campus, one of her top goals was to help Central become a student-centered institution that instills in its graduates a passion for lifelong learning. A university that prepares graduates for careers they are seeking and for the likely possibility that over time their jobs and their careers will change. She refers to the university community as the central family, taking inspiration from Central's tradition of inclusion, community outreach, and strong student support from faculty and staff. As the university's 13th president, Dr. Toro is the first female and first Hispanic president. She knows from her own experience that education is the most effective vehicle for social mobility. Please help me welcome President Toro. Graduating class of 2022, could you please rise and join me in expressing our appreciation to those individuals who had made today's possible for you. To all of them, let's express our appreciation. Please be seated. Thank you, Provost. Graduates, I know you are anxious to get that diploma in hand and go about your day. Maybe you have plans to celebrate with faculty and friends. You might be scheduled to work tonight. Maybe you just want some quiet time to relax. Most certainly, you have earned it. This ceremony is more than a simple symbolic gesture to celebrate earning enough credits for a degree. A CCSU education encompasses far more than that, and I think it is, it is this university's responsibility to remind you of that today. Moments ago, we honored Dr. Harris for her dedication to ensuring that you have access to higher education, one that prepares you for the next phase of your life and impacts your professional, financial, and personal trajectory. Yes, a CCSU education is designed to prepare students for their career aspirations, but the diplomas we present today represent 
so much more, and we hope you will appreciate that if you do not already. Without questions, this university's intention is to propel graduates into the world with a strong foundation in their areas of study. But that foundation also includes com competencies in critical and creative thinking, problem solving, and cultural understanding, along with a passion for innovation. Through our practice as a community engaged institution, we hope to foster in our students and graduates a desire for becoming well-informed, civic-minded citizens who are willing to contribute to the needs of their communities. More specifically, I am talking about embracing social responsibility to uphold the principles of our democracy and to promote the public good, to understand that there will be times in your life and career when supporting what is best for your community or for your society as a whole is not necessarily in your own self-interest. Living by those values can be challenging, frustrating at times, but the rewards are great. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, are credited with groundbreaking research related to the greater good. They found that when we make decisions or act on behalf of what is in the best for all those concerns, then we all benefit. That altruistic behavior also instills in each of us a deep sense of purpose. It stimulates happiness enhances relationships, reduces health problems, and increases productivity and career success. And lastly, fostering the greater look leads to a more compassionate society. And we need that now more than ever. We are living in an age when polarization is high the spreading of disinformation. Purposeful lies and false information is a strategy to inflame or suppress issues of social conflict. As citizens who value the common good on which our democracy was built, we have an obligation to being well informed by relying on a diversity of sources for news and information. We also have a responsibility to stay engaged with our communities by exercising our right to vote, by participating in civic activities and pursuing lifelong learning. That means your education must not end here today. Consider a statement by former, former United States Nation Secretary General Kofi Annan. He said, and I quote, no one is born a good citizen or a good Democrat or a good leader. It takes time and education, end of quote. His work to protect people around the world from violent extremism and human rights violation helped earn him a Nobel Peace Prize. I don't know if an international award is an objective of our commencement speaker. I can tell you that she is an amazing woman whose mission in life, even at an early age, has been to pursue the common good for the people of New Britain. Erin Stewart was still a central student when she was offered a job to work in a field office for Congresswoman Nancy Johnson. It was during that time when she was beaten by the political bug. At least that is what she claimed in an interview. But I suspect she caught a little bit of that the bug as a teenager when her father was mayor. 
After graduating from Central in 2009, there was no stopping her. She worked as a le legislative aide at the state capitol and served on several municipal committees and boards. In 2013, at the age of 26, she took the plunge. She campaigned to become mayor of her hometown and was elected. The win earned her a place in history as the city's youngest mayor, and at that time, she was also one of the youngest mayors in the nation. Always passionate and deep, deeply driven to improve the life of her neighbors and constituents, she infused vitality and fresh ideas into city government. By holding open office hours and using social media to connect with residents and share her vision, she hammered away at elevating the hard work city's public image and resolving its financial crisis. The transformation of New Britain under her leadership is visible. From the golden globe of the Bihai Bridge to the renovation of downtown, the rejuvenation of affordable housing, and the development of new businesses and industries. Equally important is the mayor's investment in support and intervention programs for the city's youth and families in need and for individuals struggling with drug addiction. Central, a university that embraces community engagement, often partners with the city of, on projects intended to improve the life <clears throat> of our neighbors. This collaboration benefits our students who through service learning and volunteer opportunities are exposed to real life issues and develop a sense of civic responsibility. I don't think there is a better example of a CCSU graduate who has dedicated her life to pursuing the greater good than Mayor Stewart. As an enthusiastic proponent of public education, she has a new platform to expand her work. Just a few days ago, she was appointed as the newest member of the Board of Regents for Higher Education. Let me wel welcome to the podium the Honorable Erin E. Stewart, Mayor of Hard Hitton, New Britain. Regent Stewart, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Whew, I wear many hats. Today, I'm excited to wear this one with you because here's a fun fact. I'm actually graduating with my master's this month, too. Yay! Congrats! Um, <laughs> because if I don't have enough stuff going on, you know, going to school, there was always room for that. But I also have a two-year-old and all that other good stuff, too. Anyways, hey, Blue Devils, great to be back. Thank you so much, President Toro. That was wonderful. Um, take a second. Um, I'm going to talk to the graduates for for a few moments because not only do we need to give yourselves a round of applause again because this is all about celebrating today um, but I just want you to be very present in this moment um, don't forget to take a deep breath look around soak it all in know that today is is all about you your accomplishments um, and just just really be in that moment um, it's about all the hard work that you've put in over the last several years. It's about all of your accomplishments and achievements. And it wouldn't have been possible, of course, not to forget this, without the love and support and encouragement of your friends, your family, and the CCSU community. So also a round of applause for all of those who supported you uh, on this journey. And so today marks the start of a new chapter for all of you. And Dr. Martin Luther King once said, you don't have to see the whole stairway, just take the next step. So let's talk about that next step, because you are in control of it. Because if you were to ask me when I was sitting there where you are in 2009, graduating from Central, if I, I would have never, ever guessed in a million years that four years later I'd be running for mayor of the city of New Britain. Um, but I can tell you this with certainty. I would not have been prepared for that role if it weren't for my education here at CCSU. 
A fun fact, I actually started off my college career at UConn. Uh, I lasted a whole semester. <laughs> Celeron was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't why. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit of why I left, but um, I made the conscious choice to, to leave and to transfer and come back, back home. Uh, I grew up in New Britain, graduated from New Britain High School, public school educated through and through, um, but uh, it was hands down one of the best decisions that I ever made uh, in my life. Leaving UConn, coming home to Central, um, it allowed me to flourish in the social sciences arena. It allowed me to be a lot more than just a student ID number here. Um, so I, as we're talking about you know, lessons learned and um, Dr. Harris kind of did a, a quick rundown, I want to do something similar today and talk to you guys about some of the most important lessons that I learned while I was a student at Central. Um, I learned first off that uh, every one of us is uniquely gifted to make a positive impact on this world you'll be faced with challenges in future job searches and life. Uh, my fellow CCSU grads are making a difference with passion everywhere around this nation, whether they're teachers, nurses, counselors, entrepreneurs, they're embracing service to others and they give back. Uh, what else did I learn at CCSU? I saw hardships as a challenge uh, to find inner strength, not a chance to lose hope or a chance to give up. And there was plenty of challenges. And if I had a dollar for every time I have heard you're too young, you're too inexperienced, you laugh too much, you smile too much, you joke too much, you're too liberal, you're too conservative. I would be rich, so I kind of wish I had a dollar for every time somebody said that to me, but um, I've actually learned very well uh, to relish that criticism because it's made me much stronger as a person and, and a much better leader because of that too. Uh, what else did I learn? I learned that um, Nothing in life is worthwhile if you don't take risks, and risks are scary. Um, I pretty much quit my job at the state capitol to run for mayor. Uh, so imagine being like out of college, you get this great job, you think this is what you want to do, and then you pretty much say, I'm going to quit to run for political office, not knowing if it's going to, to work out. Um, it was the best risk uh, that I ever took. And you have to, to realize the fact um, that you're not always successful, right? You're going to fail. You will be rejected. You're going to get knocked down. So my advice is when you fall, make sure that you're falling forward. Fall with grace, or at least as much as possible. And you'll embarrass yourself, of course. But please, please, please never be discouraged by that. Like that time that I ran for governor. <laughs> <laughs> See, fall forward. I ended up on the Board of Regents. Everything's okay. <laughs> uh, but you can never, never look back. Stay optimistic. Follow your dreams and your passions because you're certainly not going to, to regret that. You know, in your college career, there have been a whirlwind of events in our country and across the globe that have taught us the values of tolerance, of respect, and of compassion. So a pro tip right here, do not lose faith in the world we live in even though it can be filled with hate and intolerant of different lifestyles. Stay optimistic that you can and will make a difference. And remember this when dealing with, you know, all of your haters or ignoring them, um, love always wins. Uh, one of the last things that I learned is there's no place like home. This place has certainly been your home away from home. Remember the lessons that you've learned here not just on the CCSU campus, uh, but out and about in New Britain's neighborhoods, in our parks, maybe at Elmer's. Um, help, <laughs> you know, volunteering or helping out with our different nonprofits, interning, working at our local businesses, uh, and the people you have met throughout this diverse and beautiful community that I have the pleasure to lead. New Britain is certainly special. We embrace our diversity. You could be eating Puerto Rican food at lunch and Polish food for dinner, uh, but, Living in this diverse and accepting community is an education in and of itself. We pride ourselves in being a welcoming city, an accepting one, a caring city. So I hope that you look back on your days here with fondness and spread the word about what we've got here at CCSU. My two-year-old daughter has already applied for early admission for the class of like 2042, so I hope I get her in. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, okay, one more, one more thing, you know, please remember to show others respect uh, and compassion. Um, it was Helen Keller who said that the highest result of education is tolerance. 
And we learn that tolerance right here on campus. We learn that we can discuss and debate the key issues of our time logically, pragmatically, and civilly. No name calling, no vitriol, no nastiness. Um, we learned the art of compromise here. We take what we've learned and we bring it to the next chapters of our lives. We all come from different walks of life. We all have different stories. We've overcome many different challenges. But as of today, we're all bound. And we're bound by our ties to CCSU for the rest of our lives. So please be proud of those ties. Be proud of the relationships you've formed. Maintain those contacts going forward. Because no matter where you go, your career or where that career path may lead you, there are amazing CCSU success stories all of around us. Like First District Congressman John Larson, who was quoted as saying, what I remember fondly about my four years at Central are the outstanding faculty that I had the privilege of knowing. They not only provided me with a first-rate education, but the friendships I formed here have endured a lifetime. People like Justice Carmen Espinoza, the first Hispanic Supreme Court Justice in Connecticut. She said that it was at Central that she learned she could succeed at whatever academic pursuit she undertook. Or maybe Michelle Perez, known as Mickey, a formerly homeless teen mom who's now an industrial manager at Pratt & Whitney and is on a mission to inspire the next generation of engineering, aviation, and aerospace professionals. Mickey spoke at CCSU's spring graduation ceremony and noted that raising her daughter young and alone was the start of her leadership journey. She said it taught her to never discount others at face value, as she had been discounted for being a teen mom. She believes that those who are most undervalued often bring the most value. How true that is. So from a class of 2009 grad, one final bit of advice, embrace change. Change is good. You persisted, you persevered, you excelled, you adapted, you grew. You are stronger because you embraced change and overcame all of the obstacles to get where you are right now. These years have helped shape you into the people and leaders you are today. And that day back in 2009 is still one of the proudest moments of my life. Graduation day is always one of my favorite days. A day to celebrate success, milestones, a day to give thanks. A day to look around at each other, to smile, to hug, to laugh, to cry, to embrace the journey ahead. So I started off with this quote and I'll end with it too. You don't have to see the whole stairway, but just take the next step. We're very proud of you all, congratulations. Thank you, Mayor. Your Blue Devil pride shines through. Sharing your experiences and insight serves inspiration to all of our graduates. And I now ask everyone to please rise and join in the singing of our alma mater, led by CCSU's vocal quartet. You'll find the lyrics on page 20 of your program. Thank you. Please take your seats. President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies. Joining President Toro in recognizing the degrees is Interim Dean Jim Mulroney.
Now presenting the, the doctoral degree candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies, Catherine Ann Poyer, hooded by Dr. Maria Mangelo. Raina Jasmine Elise Northcutt, hooded by Dr. Jacob Werblow. Petta Ann Nicole Howell. Professional Studies, Heather Ashley Brown. Education and Professional Studies, Justin Carl Hyman Heilman.
Rory James Balakino. Michael Robert Messner. Courtney Alexis Parrish. Alex Mark Landry. Rachel Sarah Pinsky. Alba Gashi. Brianna Marie Albanese. Gianna Teresa Pesarelli. Star Figueroa. Corey Ferguson. Emily Rhea Starkweather. Jocelyn Lopez. Veronica Ann Sullivan. Laura Patricia Carol Contento. Natasha Liz Davis. Victoria Ashley Irashi. Destiny Venencia Johnson. Geraldine Sandoval. Elizabeth Hassan. Caitlin Marie Bellinger. Krishaya Shanice Champagne. Haley Elizabeth Altoff. Angela Laura Seferelli. Noah Joseph Lemire. Kayla Alexa Duda. Emma Catherine Del Grego. Maya Elizabeth Lamolfa. Jamie Granette. Olivia Grace Velasco. Caitlin E. Suckley. Robert Lewis Parento, Jr. Doogie Lish Santiger. Yelda Amiri. Zoe Rose Gingrass. Sabrina Nicole Formica. Ann Kim Hua. Yeah! Alyssa Judith Patson. Alyssa Elizabeth Rodriguez. Jocelyn Duarte. Christian Manuel Kale Mesa. Lacretia Sharina Perry. Moya Sadies Yishang. Leslie Ann Clark. Devon Shuggins. Matthew Violet. J. J. Zoe. Congratulations to all our graduate and undergraduate students from the School of Education and Professional Studies.
President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates from the School of Engineering, Science, and Technology. Joining President Toro in recognizing the degrees is Interim Dean, dean Steve Minkler. Robert Tyler Gorzinski. <laughs> Preston Dale Ackerley. Gianluca Sergio Mazzi. 
Michael Farwat Bulis. Jason Philip Monteleone. Gregory Ross Newman. Luke Farrell Olmsted. Michael Anthony Galati. Joseph Vincent Salami. Kyle John Zajac. Jacob Patrick Grubski. Anthony M. Dolphin. Kevin Matozo Ariaza. George Constantinos Antonellis. <laughs> Dominic Cody Moore. J. Patrick Clements. Dale Joseph Wakeley. Thomas P. Martins. Talia D. Campaverde. Brian Duckworth. Alexander John Bernali. Quentin Lewis Carr. Deandra Dolores Reed Hall. Simona Anna Vizinski. Rose L. Lombardi. Danielle Kristen Simpson. Julio Otero. Estefa Natalia Bojo Flamenco. Hussein Ismail Mahuan. Kenneth Michael DeMeo. Justin Jock Harris. Kevin Crotchet. Matthew Keith Stefanik. Drin Barisha. Terrence B. James. Aiden Rasher. Chantal Edna Burungi. Kenya Chanel Womack. Matthew J. Simoja. Emmanuel Wafo Yaboa. Rajay Romaine Willis. Matthew Christopher Andrews. Christopher James Liggy. <laughs> Nathan Robert Lucas. Daniel Fonseca. Kwaku Panty. 
Leandre C. Rowe. Charlotte Marie Carlson. <laughs> Alyssa Venalots. Wesley Agent Che. Mario Lido. Mary Bullis. Trayvon DeAndre Walker. Christopher Michael Wright. Romy Camillo. Timothy John Beardsley. Carly Elizabeth Gullickson. Noah Ray Clark. Joel Willis. Justin Richard Braun. Travis Reed Hopkins. Jonathan Paul Gargano. Abul Bashar Muhammad Iridin Hedar. Kobe Benedict Onye. Fuad Nasser Algami. Nicholas George Zalo. Brian James Pizzaferrato. Harry Joseph Schmidt. Brownlee J. Lewis. Jason John. Pima Serpa. Caroline Phoebe King. Jake Allen Hasseltine. Daniel J. Lee. Brooks Patrick Robinson. Margarita Montanez Colon. Anita Barbara Kupiet. Aaron Elizabeth Lee. Isabella Catherine Lago. Eduardo Pace. Kenya M. Graham. Amber Rose Sampire. Kyle Jacob Ramundi. Congratulations to all our graduate and undergraduate students from the School of Engineering, Science, and Technology. <laughs> President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates from the Carol A. Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Joining President Toro in recognizing the degrees is Dean Robert Wolf. Now presenting the master's degree candidates from the Carol A. Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, Amanda Gail Irwin. Amy Wervicki Schaefer. Ivy Morgan Tibbet. 
Caitlin Maureen Bernacki. Ashley Emily St. Pierre. Kevin Scrocky. Now presenting the bachelor's degree candidates from the Carol A. Emmon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Tayona Potenza. Kayla Alexis Harris. Harry Alberto De Jesus Jr. Jordan McClary. Morgan Mackenzie Santos. Sophia Woods. Lindsay Elizabeth Hurden. Yasmin Shepshoni. Joanna Marie Cahill. Annalise Jean. Sonner. Isabella Marie Feast. Stephen James Byung Giampapa. Sydney Elizabeth Capazzoni. Hannah Rose Michaels. Sophia Carol Santosifano. Brianna Elizabeth Wombolt. Courtney Elizabeth Wombolt. Mairead Huber Dowling. Sashika Kara Brown. Brianna Christine Krishensky. Nicole Elizabeth Patel. Matthew Joseph Aguirre. Michael Alexis Patino. Antonio Sebastian Spera. Yeah! Matthew Joseph Bellino. Maria Margarita Lapira. Allison Grace McInnes. Carla Rose Vital. Layla Muskick. Jessica Aguilar Balbuena. Zaria Shade Cooper. Jada Marie Allison Richards. Zachary David Bassell. Gabriela Maria Bonfilio. Erica Lynn Music. Joseph Michael Matero. Samantha H. Jakes. Megan E. Shorey. Karim Ahmad Belika. Paula Zayas Garcia. Laney Ann Kozakowski. Victoria L. Janelle. Logan Joe Zidun. Jamie Lynn Morton. 
Megan Sarah McNibbins. Valeria Enos Hoyas Villanueva. Katie Mary Ellen Quink. Kyle Matthew Giglietti. Zoe Pilar Oliviera. Julianne Reed Dulecki. Theodore George Sheridan. Matthew Parker Wallach. Avery Ann Miriam Noto. Sophie Jade Salusto. Paul Anthony Busolota. Junior. Caitlin Faustina Mueller. Ryan James Lagasse. Margaret Julie Yacovino. Alex C. Perry. Niall Christian Ashburner. Jessica Emma Montville. Anthony Chasido Verde. Aliyah Gabrielle Vizino. Kermit Enrique Rodriguez. Alyssa Shay Montrose. John Lavon Cachadorian. Haley Elizabeth Lada. Anthony James Mastriano. Aaron Kelly Sullivan. Caitlin Danielle Murphy. Samuel Bayo Gabrielle DeVico. Nicholas David Gormley. Johan Sebastian Pena. Jacob Zuhovic. Eric Arthur Bagdasarian. Ocean Juliet Walker. Nisa Jalaluddin. Litsi Leon Sixtos. Min Jiang. Nicoletta Rose Catania. Bridget Mullen Theon. Ashley Jordan. Michaela Lynn Hughes. Canari Lanice Russell. Kayla Ayana Beeman. Javier Vasquez. Jonathan Philip Bongo. Darius Griffin. Alexandra Taylor Bissell. Veronica Stasha Rivera. <laughs> Emily Rose Zerang. Jaleel Raquan Brown. Augustus Reginald Pope Jr. Reba Hemavati Deonunrai. Julia Yvette Wunuk. Michael Edward Anderson. Alfred Cotto. Alexis Morell. Brittany 
Johnson. Sean Clark, Jr. Congratulations to our graduate and undergraduate students from the Carol A. Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. <laughs> President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates from the School of Business. Joining President Toro in recognizing the degrees is Interim Dean Lisa Frank. Now presenting the master's degree candidates from the School of Business, Askan Rajawi. <laughs> Faisal Al Mamamu. <laughs> Sahil Loga. Myra Alejandra Suarez. <laughs> Bautram Nakchan. Rachel Michelle Wilson. Jamilex Rodriguez. Connor Ryan Williams. Jasmine Brinson. Neil Robert Tompkins. Marita Hoxa. Darshal Kumar K. Patel. Thomas Vincent Piccarelli. Gary Allen Berman. Victoria Angelina Kamponic. Javika Darshuni Prasad. Adrian Golek. Dennis Awusu. Rimsha Asif. Desmond Oheen Kiem.
Vijay Anand Ramdas. Asha Latoya Stapleton. Nadir Salim Khan. Nia Sengali. Medi Breen Patrick Joseph Rule Brianna Haley Walker Esad Sinanovic. Shauna Kathleen Skirpo. Austin John Holden. John Tyler Larkin. Tony Ann Brown. Now presenting the bachelor's degree candidates from the School of Business, Morgan Irene Rusick, Kumlin Giyami Obadasu, Joshua McGee, Danielle Eileen Mora, William Delaney DiMatteo. Amy Renee Bryda. Gil Xavier Martinez. Ashley Kate Schiffer. Kelsey J. Dixon. Morgan Tilly McSherry. Gabriella Mezio. Kevin Maurice Gordon. Erica Lynn Roundtree. Finnegan Patrick Carey. Michael Jeffrey Strange. Irfan Ahmed Merida. Gabriella Elizabeth Savino. John Reyes Dunning. Thomas Michael Zakarski. Tisharia Stevens. Ashley Ann Roebuck. Krista Ann Caro. Rachel Lee McDonald. Hunter James Pasqualini. Andrew Manasian Buzzy. Kiana L. Staggers. Kevin Charles Bodge. 
Arshdeep Singh. Stephen Daniel Benmore. Michael John Bray. Rachel L. Cody. Ethan Jeffrey Rowe. Jake Thomas Ferrato. Tyler George Day. Kristen Bully. Eric Brosnan. Alexis Marie Bigelow. <laughs> Teresa Caron Bisconti. Katerina Yurkovich. Lisa Lynn Agolatia. Caroline Grace Olis. Kimberly Ann Dell. Megan Amma Brua Anim. Gabriella Mercedes Marrero Reyes. Roshni Sanbal. Liam F. Blakely. Mark Henry Matthews. Nairaj Richard Norman. Eric Edward Bruitt Callis. Joseph Thomas Gargano. Jacob Dale Gash. Roshni Nadia Rudam. Cecilia Charlotte Sutfin. Elizabeth Marie Tangway. Daniela Christelle Alberca. Congratulations to the candidates from the School of Business. Please join me in a round of applause. We have arrived at the key moment of today's ceremony. Will all members of the Central Connecticut State University Winter Class of 2022 please rise for the conferral of degrees. President Toro, I present to you the degree candidates of the 2022 Winter Class. By the virtue, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education, by law, and on the recommendation of the Central Connecticut State University faculty, it is my privilege to confer academic degrees on the candidates of the 2022 winter class. As these degrees are conferred, let it be understood that each candidate is also the recipient of all rights, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining to the degree. I hereby confer on each of you the degree under which your name appears in the printed program. At this time, in acknowledgement of your achievement, Please move your tassel from right to left, where where your heart is, thus signify, signifying this important milestone in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing 
the CCSEU Winter Class of 2022. Congratulations! As the newest alumni, you are connected to Central Spas. You are connected to more than 100,000 CCSU graduates. Be connected to your community and don't forget to stay connected with us, your Central family. And start by joining us in the alumni hall for a reception celebrating your accomplishments immediately following the recessional. Congratulations to you all. Now, go out and tell the world what our central family is all about. I hereby declare the winter commencement exercises of 2022 adjourned. Congratulations. It's a seven. 